Oh man, what a great feeling for the high school track athlete who gets to step on the same track as the pros, and that's what's about to happen right now. Joined by Will Bowen, who has shown his track credentials by making it from the field up to the booth. <laughs> Good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, of course, a former Tennessee volunteer track and field cross-country athlete I mentioned before. Now doing a lot of announcing at Tom Black Track there at the stadium. We'll talk about that in a little bit and some other track and field events. Local radio, Tennessee Titans flagship station. You're awfully busy, young man. Yes, sir. Good, Absolutely. good. And so these athletes, we've got some great high schoolers here. I know you know a lot about them. Let's start with the Solomon brothers, Colin and Aaron. Yeah, Colin Solomon comes in with the top time in the country this season, 4.04.86 that he ran earlier this season. His brother, uh, a year younger than him, a sophomore, Aaron Solomon, will wear hip number six. He's run 4.10 this year. That's not a bad uh, one-two punch there for the Solomon family. No question. It must be great training when they can do it together. And that's not the only brother story in this race. That's right. From the same high school, Newberry Park High School out in California, Leo Young and Lex Young, kind of the, the next up in this Newberry Park High School distance uh, juggernaut out there in California. Hips 10 and 13 right here. Twins. Uh, so you got four guys from Newberry Park High School uh, going to make for a really good race right here. Oh, yeah. And I, I can only imagine what that 3,200-meter relay, that's what they run in high school, right? Yes. What that's going to look like. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So we've got a nice big field of athletes here. I count 15 on my sheet that are running this high school boys, boys mile. It's got to be a great moment for the parents. You can hear it's gotten louder. It has. Because mom and dad and everybody else are cheering for them. And the pace must be honest because we've got a nice uh, field strung out here, led by Ethan Strand from Birmingham, Alabama. Yeah, this thing's gonna go through pretty hot, Lewis. I think they want to be around 60 seconds. Trying to be as close to that four minute mark as possible. Guys coming in at 404, 407, and 408. Right at 62 seconds uh, as they cross that quarter mile, uh, quarter mile mark. Another guy, Lewis, that's that's in this field that is kind of the local flavor, Miles Alley, the top runner in the state of Tennessee. Went to high school just down the road from where we are right now at Montgomery Bell Academy. You're in 406 last week in St. Louis. Uh, he's going to be right in the middle of this pack. Finishes really well. Had the opportunity to call his state championship run last week, and he has got a big kick over 200. So I'd expect him to be in this group and try to buy his time and wait for about two or three hundred left to make his move. And Miles has a seven on his chest, so we'll watch for him as they make that final lap. Again, a nice field of athletes. There's Colin Solomon, the long, tall Colin Solomon of uh, Newberry High School. In the lead, looking very comfortable and relaxed. I'm impressed by that. Listen to the families. Ethan Strand right behind Colin. In second, coming through the 800 meter mark, just over 203, 204, somewhere in there. Yeah, and he's really increased the effort there over that last 200 meters or so in lap number two to try to take this thing and get below that 404 that he ran earlier this season. So 61 and change at the first 400, 203, 65 at the 800 meter split. And this is that all-important third lap right now as Colin Solomon tries to hold the lead. Right behind him is Ethan Strand. And behind him, a little hard to see that hip number. We'll see it in just a second. But really impressed by Colin Solomon as he continues to hold the lead. And he's going to catch the sound of the fans and families coming up the home straightaway to the bell. It looks so relaxed. You can tell he's been at the front of packs like this. Won the 3200 Arcadia earlier this year. Really relaxed runner in the lead. And there is the bell. Colin Solomon continues to lead. Can he hold it? And you've got the local kid, Miles Alley, that's moved into third right now. This yep. is exactly what he did to win his state championship last week. Likes to be right here with about 2.50 to go. He'll try to make his move around the outside. Here he goes. Ruben Reina there was in second. And now there he goes on the outside. Miles Alley with a nice burst of speed on the back stretch. And the question is, can he hold it? I'm looking at his body mechanics and form. Looks to be a little fatigued, but he's still got it. And how much more does Colin Solomon have? Strong 800 meter runner. Let's see if he can use that strength here. It's going to be really close into the final hundred. Ruben Reyna may not be done, trying to make the move, and on the inside, Miles Alley, and now the speed of Colin Solomon, moving the legs, the fans on their feet, Colin Solomon with a, with a big mark here, 
at the American Track League Boys High School Mile. What a response by him when it looked as though the race might have been lost. And Colin Solomon, yeah, you can have a little smile there, my man. That's a heck of a move. What confidence he had there. Well, and the maturity is just incredible, Lewis. You see so many runners lose that lead in the final lap. You can get down on yourself. You can feel disappointed for a minute. Colin Solomon was engaged in this race the entire way, never lost focus, and makes a move at a perfect time to take this thing.